Hi, for question number 11, the lines L1 and L2 have equations. R is equal to 6i minus 3j plus s times 3i minus 4j plus minus 2k and r is equal to 2i minus j minus 4k plus t times i minus 3j minus k respectively. The point P on line L1 and Q on line L2 are such that PQ is perpendicular to both L1 and L2. Show that the position vector of P is 3 vector i plus j plus 2k and find the position vector of Q. 7 marks and for the second part find in the form uh, r is equal to a plus a lambda b plus mu c an equation over the plane pi which passes through p and is perpendicular to l1. The plane pi meets the plane r is equal to p vector i plus q vector j in the line l3. Find a vector equation of l3. Now, to be able to do a question like this, what I've done here, I've just drawn a little illustrations for the two lines, line L1 and L2, PQ being perpendicular to those two lines, making 90 degrees. We know that the equation of line L is this, therefore a general point can be produced giving a, a vector, column vector form of uh, 6 plus 3s minus 3 minus 4s minus 2s. Similarly for L2 also, we can do the same thing. This is going to be a general point. This can be said to be OP and this can be said to be OQ if you wish. Now from there what we're going to do, we're going to find the vector PQ. Why? Because if you find PQ, you're going to dot product with this line, the direction vector of this line, which is this, and then you're going to dot product with the direction vector of this line. You're going to produce two equations simultaneously. And then you solve those two, two equations you're going to find the value of s and the value of t. So the second step here is uh, to find the vector pq, as uh, I said before. pq is po plus oq. And what is po? This is op. 6 plus 3s minus 3 minus 4s minus 2s. Therefore, po is the negative of that, which is minus 6 minus 3s, 3 plus 4s plus 2s. Plus oq, and then plus oq, that is oq. That's going to give you the vector PQ. Here we are, PQ. And this vector, we're going to dot product first of all with this line, and then dot product with the second line, producing two equations. So, this is the first uh, uh, product. PQ, dot product with the direction vector of line L1. The direction vector is 3 minus 4 minus 2. 3 minus 4 minus 2, and this is PQ. When you dot product these two, you should be able to get an equation like this. Similarly, you're going to be doing this for the second equation as well. The same equation, PQ, but dot product with the direction vector of L2. Direction vector of L2 is 1, 1 minus 3 minus 1. 1 minus 3 minus 1. Dot product that, and here's your equation. Now, solving these two simultaneous equations uh, shouldn't be a bit of a problem here, because it's quite easy. You've done that in your basic stage in maths. Here we are, solving two simultaneous equation, and I've got the value of t as minus 1, value of s as minus 1. Now from here, we need to find the vector pq, uh, sorry, op, as required in the question. So op is going to give us, therefore, what is op? Here, this is 6 plus 3s, that means 6 plus 3 times minus 1, and all of that is in the i direction. Also, minus 3 minus 4s, so plus minus 3 minus 4 times minus 1. Okay, and uh, that should be in the direction of j, then plus k. k is uh, minus 2s, so minus 2 times minus 1. And that's going to be, sorry, direction of j, and this is k. Therefore, the vector op will be, if you do that, it's going to get 3i plus, this is 4 minus 3, which is then 1, 1 times j is j, then plus 2k. Here we are, shown. We were told to show that it is going to equal to this, and it has been shown here. Now, we need to find the vector pq as well. So, sorry. 
the vector OQ as required in the question. Now what is vector OQ? Now we know that OQ is going to be first of all 2 plus t. So what is 2 plus t? Um, that's going to be 2 plus minus 1. Okay, and this is in the i direction. The second is um, the, the y is minus 1 minus 3t. So I've got then plus minus 1 minus 3 times minus 1 times vector, I mean in the j direction. And for this one, minus 4 minus t. So plus minus 4 minus minus 1 in the k direction. So you should be able to come up with i and this is going to be plus 2j and here we got minus 3k. So this is the vector OQ and that's the vector OP. Now here we are for the first part of the question. Now then for the second part of this question we were told to find in the form of vector r is equal to vector a plus lambda b plus mu c an equation of the plane pi. I've drawn the plane pi which passes through the point P, passes through the point P and is perpendicular to the line L. This is the line L itself and if I can see, as you can see the plane is perpendicular to this line L. Remember we also have line L2, L1, L2 and there's a point Q here. Now what's going to happen is if we draw a line from here we can find the vector PQ. Now we do know the direction vector of line L okay and um, right so if we know the direction vector of line L and we know that we know the point P and Q what we can do we can find the vector PQ. What is the vector PQ anyway? The vector PQ is uh, OP minus OQ and we know that OP is 3 1 2 so 3 1 2 minus OQ which is 1 2 minus 3 and that's going to give us uh, 2 minus 1 and 5 so now where do we go from here um, now that we know the vector PQ this is one um, shall I say uh, one direction vector of this the direct we need to find the equation of this plane anyway so what's the um, what's the story with this direction vector of this line okay the direction vector of this line was given in the question as uh, if I remember correctly, um, line L, somewhere here it was given, alright, so 3 minus 4 minus 2, 3 minus 4 minus 2, right, so we're going to put, uh, let me just do it by matrix method here, 3 minus 4 minus 2, and then the direction vector of PQ is 2 minus 1, 5, 2 minus 1, 5. So let's do the cross product of these two vectors and that's going to give us, so this is i, j and k. Now minus 4 times 5 is minus 20, minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, minus 20 minus 2 is, my, is minus 20. Okay, so we've got minus 20, minus 2 is minus 22. Okay, we also have um, here, 3 times 5 is 15 minus 2 times minus 2 is minus 2 times 2 is minus 2 15 minus minus 2 is 19 okay but remember this is a minus because uh, we have to go like plus minus and then plus so here I've got minus 3 minus minus 8 that's going to give us minus 3 plus 8 which is then 5 so here's the direction vector of this uh, okay the direction vector of these two vectors okay cross product of these two vectors the direction vectors therefore I can see the plane okay will have equation R is equal to um, vector A now A is a point here this is a point A the point P is 3 1 2 so we have coordinate 3 1 2 plus the parameter lambda you can put parameter lambda and then the vector b that could be 22 
minus 19, minus 22, minus 19, 5. Minus 22, minus 19, and then 5. Okay, plus mu, the other vector, the direction vector of, um, okay, so this other vector PQ itself, 2 minus 1, 5. So 2 minus 1, 5. Now this is the second part of the question. Now for the third part of the question, the plane pi, that is this plane, I've drawn it here, this plane, pi, meets the plane R, the other plane, R is equal to pi plus qj in the line L is equal to 3. Let us suppose this is the line L is equal to 3. Now we need to find a vector equation of line 3. So now first of all I need to find the direction vector of line 3. So how can I do that? Now first of all, remember in this plane pi there's a point P. Okay, so the point P is given as, um, we know, 3, 1, and 2. So we know that uh, point P is given as 3, 1, and 2. And also, we have the line L going through this. The line L can be a normal to this plane. So if it's a normal to this plane, maybe I can draw a normal here. Okay, and the normal to this plane is given by the line L and the direction vector of L was given the question as 3 minus 4 minus 2. Now, what about this plane here? Okay, let me just do it with a different color so we don't get any confusion. This also I can uh, probably set a direction vector, uh, a normal to the plane here, 90 degrees. So this plane has that equation. P and Q is unknown. So what I can do, I can start with, let us say, uh, any point that could be 0, 0, 1. So a normal to this plane, all right, would be this one. So let, let's call this normal 2. And this is, let's say, 1. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to cross product these two vectors, these two normal vectors, to find the uh, direction vector of line 3. So this is kind of easy now. Okay, so this is I, J, K. And you've got... Um, 3 minus 4 minus 2 and also 0, 0, 1 and if you cross product these two vectors you're going to get minus 4 times this minus this so that's going to be minus 4 block this here you've got 1 times 3 minus minus so minus 3 minus 0 2 times 0 okay, if you block this you're going to get 0 minus 0 so 0 minus 0 so here's the direction vector of line L. Now we're done for this now. I can find the equation of this plane, which is this one. But the equation of that plane can be found in the Cartesian form. I got a point P here. Remember, this point is very important. So what I can do, I can find the equation of this plane. You will see in a moment why I am finding the equation of this plane. The equation of this plane is going to be its direction vector. So that's going to be 3x minus 4y minus z, uh, two, 2 z is equal to d and if you substitute p in here okay, substitute um, p in the equation you're going to get d as 1 therefore the equation of this plane can be given as 3x minus 4y minus 2 z is equal to 1 now where do we go from here? What What is the story now? Let me just push this laptop away, a little bit away from there and just get this here so you can have a better view. All right. So I want to solve an equation to find a point to center. Remember if you want the vector equation of a line you need a point to center. A point to center. All right, so a point to center now. How are we going to do this? Let's take a look. So a point to center, I can surely take um, the equation of the line, I mean the equation of the plane. Okay, we have um, 3x, okay, I don't know if we're getting a better view here. Okay, 3x minus 4y minus 2z is equal to 1. And the equation of the plane uh, second plane was given as this. This could be x and y. 
So x plus y is equal to 0. Nothing's been given, so x plus y is equal to 0. Now what we know is that um, here z is equal to 0. Okay, now that, that has been given the question, z is equal to 0, because there's no z here. Alright, so we can put z as 0 here, and we could, could, we could uh, use the second equation, x plus y is equal to 0, and therefore x is going to be equal to minus y. Then we substitute that in equation, okay, equation 1. So this is our equation 1, equation 2. If you do this, you're going to get um, 3 times minus y, so minus 3y minus 4y, okay, minus 2z, all right, that is minus, um, yeah, minus 2z means minus z 2 times 0 because that is 0, it's equal to 1. And therefore, what I have is that minus 7y is equal to 1. So y is going to be equal to minus 1 over 7. At the same time, this is also going to be equal to x, because x is equal to minus y. Okay, so now what we have is, um, we've got these points, uh, x and y is equal to minus 1 over 7, and then z is equal to 0. So the equation of the line 3, we have a point to center, here's the point, the minus 1 over 7, 1, 1, and then 0. Okay, plus the uh, parameter lambda and the direction vector of the line that we found earlier was this, minus 4, minus 3, 0. So minus 4, minus 3, 0. So this then is equal to R. So this part here is your answer. So this should be fine with this. This is your answer. Okay, so here we are for this question. Take care.